Hello and welcome back to the Conquest Minecraft Challenge. Let's build a yog moving castle. Last time we had a go at doing these chimneys and the little porch at the back, making a nice place for all the yogs cars to hang out and relax by the fire. Today we're going to move on and start building some more of the houses for the yogs cars to live and work in. So the first thing we do is make a platform for this little house to sit on. I'm using the same brick as the porch at the back to add some continuity to it. Adding the floor, we're using the same stone and adding some grass on top. This area of the build will be for Kim so you'll see me adding a bits of purple which is the taint or flux that um, is so prominent in her character design as well as her narrative her story and on the right you can see I built a little garden for her so then I began uh, building the little house. Uh, I was very inspired by Asian architecture and in particular those in Japan. So we're going to build like a tiny little pagoda house. I'm using a bit of spruce logs as well as white wool to add the design. For the roof I had a bit of uh, difficulty because I needed to get the curve that you see in a lot of Asian architecture. I settled for this for now but you'll see later on I'll start trying to experiment a bit more with it. If, I, if this build was a bit bigger the curve would have been quite a lot easier but because I'm doing such on a small scale I had to use this kind of blocks just to make the curve. And on the second floor we got the little other little room. And up by the side of this building I'm adding a cherry blossom tree which is almost leaning into the house. And some pink walls to be the leaves. Adding a bit of never bricks inside as well. Oh sorry, never brick fences inside. So to have the appearance of branches or you know twigs within the leaves. So I start going around adding extra details, some vines and some extra more flux. Once I got the, all the exterior done, I started work on the inside. So, to match the flux outside, I added a purple carpet. As well as some benches and some evil skulls to match her witchery and her evil nature sometimes. But then we go upstairs and add a little bedroom. It's a little bit cosy up here, but you can see how the little Japanese style bed is on the side. <laughs> Good thing Kim is a bit small. So that is the Kim's Pagoda finished. I didn't add a door as I'm going to add it later on when I have updated my client. As there's quite a nice lot of doors that new in the new update so now we go on to build Duncan's tower now Duncan is a mad scientist so I wanted this building to look a bit chaotic and almost as if it's toppling over on itself so like the chimneys from last episode we start with the round circles 
I'm using cobblestone as it's one of the closest I could find to the type of book, the type of uh, brick he uses in his own Minecraft series. But it also gives the build a more um, weather-worn appearance, which will add to the overall gothic and you know ramshackle appearance. One thing as well I wanted with this tower is to have each level kind of off kilter or a different size than the one below, making the tower narrower in the middle than it is at the bottom and top. The Minecraft charts come really handy here because it's quite difficult to do circles in Minecraft but if you use the guide it makes it quite easy. You just have to kind of follow the pattern. So then I start on the roof. I wanted like a tall uh, cone like roof to go on top. Now I'm going around filling up all the gaps and adding a bit more detail. Adding a giant telescope on the side to add to the sciencey feel as well as a satellite dish. So now I'm going around filling up all the gaps, trying to make the, the building look less blocky and more smooth with the stairs and slabs. Behind this build I'm building a little outhouse. I wasn't too sure where to put it but I'm just adding some windows now to bring some natural light into the building with some, a flower box and some you know, curved roofs on top of them. So here's the outhouse I mentioned at the back, adding a little place for Duncan to enchant his books or do anything he likes in this kind of small little room off centre from the building. Again adding another curved roof on top. Adding some bracing as well to support it. So that's the exterior of the castle done. We're just going to go and work on the interior now, so adding all the floors and all the detail inside. So this is the ground floor and we need to start off with building the actual floor. So I'm adding these spruce, blo spruce blocks. Oh no, I'm using adding these jungle blocks. And adding a blue carpet to match Duncan's YouTube banner colour. Playing around with the design for the centre. Sp spamming the paintings until I get what I want. And adding the stairs. As Duncan is a scientist, he, he'll need a lot of books to refer and study from. So you'll see me adding a lot of bookcases in this inside. So up we go to the second floor. This room will be more of the alchemy room. But we have to start with the essentials first, such as the floor and a banister so you don't fall down the staircase. I was playing about with the different carpet designs again. 
I wasn't too sure about this, so we might have to go back and uh, double check it. Third floor now, just adding more floor and more lighting. And of course, a lot more books. Next floor, we add another floor. When adding these floors, I had to bear in mind the height distance from each of them. Oh, and that's it. After finishing and going around the entire castle, filling the interior, we finished the design, adding a balcony and a little garden at the top add into the lab inside as well thank you for watching next time we'll go on to the other side of the build and begin work on a tree house and perhaps more so i'll see you next time bye